I'm trying the Pied Piper approach. So I've got them all mad at me. I just touched one of them and then walked away, right? Uh, so I'm hoping now I can just get them to all follow me down into this lake. Hey Geeks, Rally here and thank you for joining me today as we play some more Ark Survival Evolved. We're on the new Geeks Ragnarok server and I have them out. <laughs> so I did because of the, the basic early stuff without you guys just because it's kind of grindy. Uh, this is the only tame I have so far and I actually wasn't going to tame it. Uh, it you know, it just happened to be nearby where I was going to start building and it was a 180 so I had to. <laughs> uh, so you can see we've got a nest over here and I actually don't think I've shown you guys this slight variation yet. This is based on the uh, the skiff. Let me make sure I get rid of any of this stuff I left over here earlier. Hold on. I'm eating bugs. Raptors. All right, so this is based on the skiff. You know what? I might have gamma on. Whoops. All right, so this is based on the skiff, uh, but we made kind of a, a, a little different for it. You okay? You're still following the nest, right? Okay. So uh, on the skiff before, we had kind of a split where this uh, we had a platform up front and on back. And then back here, it had doorways and stuff, but there's no way up to the top from there. So what I changed on this one was I actually just kind of made the ramp go up the front and the back. So now we can kind of get straight up to the roof from here. That means if I'm bringing dinos and stuff around, I can bring them right up from the back side and take them right up on top here. Now, the drawback to this is there's a, there's no safe side from dinosaurs. <laughs> Any dinosaur can get up or down if they want. So I got to be a little more careful about kind of how I deal with some of that stuff. But, oh, I'm freezing. Um, so this is Quill. It was, a, it was a perfect tame. It took me quite some time to get all the mutton and stuff, but luckily where I'm going to build was a couple of sheep, so it helped out perfectly. So that's uh, that's Quill. That's going to be our substitute because I'm not going to go find a beaver. But uh, I want to build uh, with platforms plus, I think. So I'm going to need a ton of cementing paste. That's actually why we're over here right now. I came down over to the canyon because I'm going to grapple up to some beaver places and try not to die <laughs> yeah so that'll be the adventure for us to start with um let me show you the inside of this because this is a little different now that we've i've changed it. it's nothing too crazy this is our advanced forge this is like a industrial forge on crack essentially well not on crack it's fine uh then we've got ourselves a grill back here this is our grindstone we've got a preserving bin or barrel that i kind of had to like stuff in between on this other stuff which i might move but um so the weird thing with uh having the ramps there is it kind of cuts back on this section here so i had to like kind of cut some small pieces in so we've got uh, our kibble table that's been adjusted to actually require things uh to make kibble such as veggies cooked meat fiber and medjo berries uh and then over here, we've got a smithy. We've got, of course, our S plus crafting station. We've got some boxes containing materials that, like, you know, this is where I, I drop all my stuff when I log on. It all goes up in here. Uh, and this is just stuff that I've already built. And then we've got a fabricator in here. And then over here, which I don't have to duck down. I just I don't know why I did that. But and then we've got our uh, advanced rafts uh, crafting station. So that's our basic layout. We'll probably put some more stuff in here at some point because we've got to, we can do that. I love that's one of the nice things about the nest. So. Yeah, I wanted to go see about getting cementing paste because Platforms Plus loves cementing paste. Um, so I need to go do that. And the best place to do that is up in Beaver Territory. So we're actually currently uh, almost at the... Uh, we're almost at the big waterfalls. Oh, oh that scares the crap. Don't do that, Quill. Uh, where I built the silo the first time. Where we're kind of on the, the water outlet from where those guys come down. So we're going to kind of head down into the misty craziness here. And I can't take Quill with me where we're going. So I'm going to try to do this solo. <laughs> and I've got my grappling hook and I've got a parachute. So we should be good. Uh, but yeah, so that's, that's the idea, guys. We're heading into the, the mist. Oh, God. And this is what keeps happening is that things keep falling into the water and stuff while I'm here. So I've had to, like, fight a ton of stuff with Quill to try to make sure I don't die and lose all my stuff. Uh, so I'm going to go work on that again. Uh, and then I'll bring you guys back once hopefully I'm raiding some beaver dams with our patented uh, our, our patented process with the grappling hook. <laughs> we are deep in the mist. The ambiance of this area is amazing because of this. It's the like little crevice uh, that's just past where we built the silo. I just want to show you guys like this. Like look at this driving in. This is what I'm talking about. Like I'm looking. You see all the vines and stuff up there. It's just it is epic, man. Okay, so, um, we should be okay. I don't think, 
I kind of feel like maybe I need to have um, a, a fighting thing for up close. I don't know if I've learned. Let's learn the sword real quick if we haven't yet. Oops, if I can spell. So I have already learned the sword. Okay, so can I make the sword then? Uh, weapons and melee. Oh, it's not in there. Uh, primitive melee. Yeah, perfect. Correct. And then we're going to use our fancy new skin that we got because the Aberration trailer. I don't know if you guys are excited about that. I know that there's kind of a, a mix uh, with how much people like some of that stuff. Actually, I think I want to put my bullets back there. We'll replace our axe with that for now. Um, DLC is always a weird mix, right? People love it or they hate it. I cannot wait for Aberration. I want to fly in those wings so, so friggin' bad. I can't even tell you how much that's going to be awesome. So let's, oh, well, let's pull this out. Oh, Aberration Sword. I kind of like that it's got that weird glowy thing to it. That's nice. So you get the skin if you uh, if you did the season pass, which, I mean, I, I'm a YouTuber. I'm, of course, I'm going to have the season pass because I want to play that game. So, yeah. All right. So here we go. I need to get up, up, and away. Too far. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Let's just aim for something maybe a little closer. All right. So we're going to just... Uh, I like to keep that out, just be the safe side. We're gonna just kind of work our way up <laughs> with our silly parachute out, because that's how you do this. <laughs> and we're gonna just keep kind of climbing and climbing and climbing here. Reusable plus, best thing in the world. Like there, there is nothing better than having grappling hooks for days. This is like one of the best things they've added in the game. And on, on that's another reason I'm looking forward to aberration too, though. Is that I won't have to use grappling hooks. Whoops, that was not gonna work. I can. They'll have climbing axes. So I don't know if you guys have seen that. It's gonna probably take a little longer to get around than we do with this stuff. But I'll take climbing axes any day. Like that's a really cool idea to do. It just I can just vertically scale stuff. Psh, be great. All right. So uh, up here. Oh, that's not a real rock. That is. Oh. Okay. Anyways. You guys get the idea. I'm going to get our way. <laughs> uh, I am the rock. Well, not like Dwayne the Rock Johnson, just like this big rock right here. Ooh, I kind of got a little booty shake going. <laughs> All right. I'll be back once we found some beavers. All right. We're back. <laughs> we're at the little beaver lake, the bottom of the beaver lakes. There's a big old beaver dam right there. There are definitely beavers down here. And I don't know how many there are. Let's, uh... Okay, so one, two, three... <laughs> uh, this is a bad idea. And the problem with these... Da oh, there's one stuck. Are you stuck in there, buddy? The problem with these ones, too... Oh, 102. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> the problem with these guys, too, like these big ones, is you have to be inside them to get to it. Like, you can't access it from out here, right? So I had to be inside to do it. Uh, oh, there's more beavers. Oh, I can do it from up here. Oh, tricksy tricksiness. Okay. Can I just still do it from here? Okay, this is going to work. All right, so our sneaky way of doing this has always been to shoot a grappling hook someplace where they can't quite reach me. So we're going to go for one of these guys. Okay, we're close enough that'll probably work. Can they shouldn't be able to get to me? Oh boy, there are beavers galore here, and they ain't gonna be happy about it. Take this, take that, I need some of this, we'll take this and this. Alright, uh, we'll drop everything else. Ooh. Oh, good, yeah, didn't matter. Look at that. <laughs> there were so many beavers, there is no way that was gonna work. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> Gamma Dose is closed, so I'm gonna... <laughs> He's his bed. Oh, it's too funny. All right. Let's <laughs> see about getting back and getting our stuff. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at all these beavers. No wonder I died. There's so many over here. I borrowed one of Gamma, Gamma Dose's uh, birds. Thank, thank you, by the way, Gamma Dose. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys built nearby. Now, hopefully, I don't think they're going to be mad at me for getting my stuff back. I don't think so. <laughs> they shouldn't, but uh, you never really know. No, you guys are good. All right, so uh, <laughs> I think we're going to exploit the fact that we have Hobgoblin here then. 
maybe, and try to do this other one. Now they're on the other side. Maybe I can pull this off without getting murderized so fast? Maybe. Because I still, <laughs> I still want more. <laughs> Make sure you're out of the way and you are on passive. Good. Okay. So, switch these back to where they're supposed to be. And we'll get one of these up here. Give ourselves some slack. Now that we know we can try to do this from the top. Oops. Let's delete that over there. Have my safety tether. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. I don't hear any of them yet, so we should be okay. <laughs> yeah, you can come over here all you want now, beavers. Suckers. Look at these things. God, I don't even know what that's called, but that's a lot of beavers. <laughs> all right, so that's the current plan. I'm going to go try that with the next one up top, too, and see how much spinning pace we can come away with. I'll be you guys back in a few. <laughs> Look at all of them chasing us. Ooh. <laughs> I opted for a different tactic this time. I'm trying the Pied Piper approach. So I've got them all mad at me. I just touched one of them and then walked away, right? Uh, so I'm hoping now I can just get them to all follow me down into this lake. Because they're all mad at me and want to come get me. And if I get them all down this lake, I should really have an easier time getting the ones up top. So it looks like there's a couple beavers that didn't follow. So those will be the ones I got to worry about, it looks like. That's fine. <laughs> so we just want to try a new tactic out. That'll work. Um, although I am too fat, it looks like, already. Can you see the weight there? Can I have extra stuff on me? That's, well, I can get rid of this stuff, no problem. Oh, I dropped something. Did I, did I drop trank arrows like a dummy? Hold on. Yes, I did. I'll take those back. Thank you. Oh, it was a one drink arrow. I don't even care about one drink arrow. All right, so how many of you guys are left over here? Is there a bunch of you still? Can I land on top of this? Oh, okay. This would be perfect then, I think. So all I did was access it and get out of it. It makes them all mad. And they all want to come get me. <laughs> and I'll just see if I can lead them all away. Y'all following? Yep. Perfect. Get all the angry, angry beavers out of my way. Hey, there's some bears over here. Let's give a little let's give a little whack. Get these guys mad too. So I got most of them I think coming now. Like little lemmings. Come on guys. Jump over the edges. Must have to get him around. Alright, anyways, you guys get the idea. <laughs> you guys want to see the hole we got? Look at all that. That is not bad at all. All for free. Aside from losing a life once. <laughs> so, right over there where the sparkler tip is at is where we parked uh, the nest. So, oh. Make sure I got this right. Uh -huh. Uh, parachute? Oh god, that was scary. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to head back to the nest, and then I'll take you guys to the spot where I'm thinking about building for now. Um, yeah, I want to try something new, so we're going to kind of build out in a different spot. I'll show you guys once we get there. Alright guys, welcome back. It is morning time here. Taking you guys back to the actual little place we've claimed. Um, so, I've been trying a, a build out, so... <laughs> it's gonna look a little weird when we get there, but we are down in the southern area right now. Uh, the community center is um, is kind of off that way to our right, uh, and then on the back end of this island chain that was kind of crazy uh, is a smaller island chain, like a little archipelago full of islands uh, that had just a couple little flat spots on it. So. Uh, I came over here and I claimed it and uh, because of the way our system and rules kind of work on this I pretty much have the whole archipelago to myself So I did that specifically so we'd have some areas nearby uh, that we could build with so we'll have resources So straight ahead from us those little chain of islands. That's ours. 
Uh, so I've already told other geeks and stuff, they're more than welcome to harvest as much as they want over here, but the idea was to make sure that they, stuff couldn't get wiped out. So I built right in the center of this, and <laughs> you're going to see a weird build <laughs> as we get closer. Because like I said, I've been kind of playing with some ideas. I wanted to try the Platforms Plus out. I've never really done much with that other than uh, that GE stuff that we did where we kind of wrapped around the rock. So I'm just playing with some of the weird stuff that it can do. It's got, you can see there's some doors opening right now. Uh, it's got this crazy wedge door thing that lets you kind of like, I don't know, the whole thing can stay open. So this is just, I'm just messing with pieces and parts to kind of see how they fit together. But that's that's currently what we're looking at. Um, I don't. That's probably not going to stay that way. I'm just like I said. I'm kind of playing with the different ways we can mess with this. Um, so we'll go ahead and get out and show you the island that we have uh, we have claimed for our own here, islands. So we'll come up here, and then like this right now, it's kind of it looks like it's floaty because I've been like I said, kind of putting pieces in and out. So. Uh, We've got a couple distinct parts for platforms plus. We've got the actual big wedge platforms. We've got the doors that are big wedge ceiling pieces. Uh, these are just the basic slope ones. It's the, it's the one that's on auto open still. And I have all these set to uh, to be open right now. And then this is like inner wedge and there's an outer wedge piece you can see out there. So I just kind of played with the idea. I thought it'd be kind of cool to have the workshop on one side like on the top or the bottom and then have the housing stuff on the bottom or the top you know uh but so check this out I, this is what made me think about doing this this way oh i like the look that's achieved with some of this and I, i'm hoping that i can do this with a keypad as well but i like the idea that i can come in and have like like a spot <laughs> let's just go ahead and switch that to manual i like that i could come in and have a spot that's kind of just covered up right like it's just kind of this one little section that's kind of protected and i can run out here which is kind of cool i put this stuff up top there because i thought about making like a living area up top and if i stand right on this when i press the button i can walk kind of right up this i haven't actually tried to see i like so i can jump up here too so i could make this like the living quarters right way up here at the top uh and i wouldn't have to worry about things getting up here to mess with me at all uh so i don't know i mean i guess let me think let me know what you guys think this is a really weird layout i'm just i'm just kind of messing with with the different things this could be so far and kind of just seeing how the shapes work together but i kind of i kind of dig it so far i don't know it's it is definitely weird it's 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 not something i've ever built with before so uh but yeah i don't know so we'll here we'll show you again what this looks like with these all open oh oh i didn't get up high enough okay so we have found a problem <laughs> Luckily, I can just close one of them. So if I stand like right, I said right on top of this piece. Oh, that went too far. So let's take a look from out here, though. So you guys, I don't. It has kind of this weird shape when they're left open like that. So I might just leave them open all the time and maybe put some glass walls across the front and make them so you can't see them. So it just looks like it's a hundred percent open, and then I might just fill in the back there. So I don't know. I guess let me know what you guys think. Um. If you got any ideas or suggestions, if you think this looks crazy or if it looks awesome, I don't I don't know. Like I said, I'm just seeing how things work right now. All right, so we have successfully tamed a uh, an awesome thorny dragon, and we managed to bamboozle some beavers <laughs> and steal all of their cementing paste. I would say that's been a good day. If you guys have enjoyed the episode, please feel free to drop a like below. You can always subscribe for more content, and I will catch you on the flip side.